Recently, I did something that I never thought I would do. I got married on March 3rd in Naples, Florida, and I bowed down before my husband and I called him Lord. Now, there was some comments about that and and some of the things that I said in my personal vows that people kind of went at, uh, side eye to. But I want you guys to watch this video and I wanna go into depth as to why I demonstrated this very important act for people to see. Here you go. I'm so honored to have you as the head of my household. I call you Lord and I bow before you in honor. And I thank God so much and I'm so grateful because so many times I felt so unworthy. But in you, he told me that I was worthy and I love you so much. And I give my whole heart, I would die for you, protect you and defend you and support you. I love you infinity just a little backdrop on why i chose to do this at my wedding see many people don't realize that the bible talks about sarah calling her husband lord abraham the reason she called him lord master because she was obedient to him she was submissive to him and and it describes a picture of both persons submitting to one another we are the perfect example in marriage of god he, he actually demonstrates both his masculine and feminine characteristics in marriage by coming together in unity. We see the Godhead, the God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit coming together. And so marriage is a perfect example of the unity that is found in Christ Jesus. So me submitting to my husband is not a huge feat. I trust God. See, trusting God requires us to humble ourselves, to really understand how sovereign he is. See, I wasn't always at this point in my life. There was a time where I doubted God. I doubted that he could actually send somebody perfectly for me. See, I thought that I had my own wants, desires, preferences. He had to have this certain look and certain resume. But God actually sent me someone that was for me that was more than what I could ever dream or imagine. I'm so attracted to him physically, mentally, spiritually, in every way. And I service him and he serves me. It's a servanthood mentality. It's a, a humbling of oneself. It's taking the knee. It's taking accountability. It's allowing God to use each person in the marriage so that he can bring healing and restoration to each person. If you are single and you're waiting for God to send that perfect person for you, I would encourage you to allow God to heal the broken pieces, the strongholds, the trauma in your life so that he can prepare you to be all that you need to be before he gifts you with someone that is worthy to be in a marriage that to represent him. You be blessed.